What inspired you to come up with the Arc Droid? Well, um, well, I've been fabricating and you know cutting and welding for a long, long time, and the idea of some sort of automated CNC plasma really appealed, but don't really have the space or the money for a, a full-size table, and as a result, you know, I applied some of what I know about robotics and some of the product development stuff I've been doing for years and came up with the Arc Droid. I think it's a, an excellent solution for the, uh, for the problem. Tell us about manufacturing and how you're going to handle some of the challenges that are out there. Ah, manufacturing. Uh, difficult sometimes in, the, in this environment, but we got a pretty good plan. Um, all of the design and development has happened here in Canada and we'll stay. Our principal operations will be uh, um, based here in Canada. Uh, everybody knows it's difficult to make stuff in China, but uh, luckily I lived and worked there for over a decade. And between myself and a couple other people on the team, we've got a, an extensive network of vendors and factories that we've worked with before and we have a solid relationship with. Um, the primary factory that we've chosen for this one, I've worked with for over a decade. So we're well aware of their capabilities. Super happy with what they can do. Uh, we've got issues, of course, with long lead times on, on chips and stuff these days. We're already ahead of the game. We've started ordering for that to, to make sure those lead times don't bite us in the butt. Um, shipping, always an issue, but uh, you know we're, we're on top of it. We've actually got uh, a couple of uh, courier vendors that uh, are giving us really good rates. So uh, I think we got a solid plan and we're gonna be able to get stuff out by Christmas. Does ArcDroid have any direct competition? Uh, direct competition, not really. Uh, this is pretty unique in the market. Um, there are you know, many, many versions of the traditional CNC plasma table, but they all work in a fairly similar manner. Some sort of gantry with some sort of linear rails, uh, take up a lot of your garage. This, this is unique in that it is a, uh, what's known as a SCARA arm robot, which stands for selectively compliant uh, robot architecture or something to that effect. Um, and, uh, you know, this is from a ground up, a brand new design. This is something that hasn't been seen on the market before. Uh, the ability to trace things is not something that you can get in any other system out there. Um, the usefulness straight out of the box, no PC required, no assembly, no you know convoluted setup. Um, this is not what you, we see in any of the other stuff that's on the market. So we're hoping it makes a big impact. Top three reasons you want an Arc Droid. Okay, top three reasons you want an Arc Droid. Uh, number one, it's small. Um, you know, they, most of what's out there now in the traditional sense is big tables, five by 10, four by eight, take up most of your garage. This fits in the trunk of your car. Um, this fits on a shelf. And it still cuts 90% of what you're gonna wanna cut. Uh, we've got about 17 by 26 cutting area. Uh, that'll cut the manifold uh, template for an LS. It'll cut brackets for your, for your Miata. It'll, it'll cut most of what you're gonna wanna cut. Uh, and it has all of the precision and accuracy of the bigger tables. Number two, um, it's relatively cost effective. It's uh, MSRP of around you know, $24.99 US. Uh, that means it's you know, priced much cheaper than many of the traditional tables. And even what is you know, out there that's cheaper than, than this, you still need to buy a PC and you still need to assemble it and you still need to pay shipping for 600 pounds of steel. Um, so the, you know, the initial cost may not be as, as uh, good as you think it is. Reason number three, that's easy to use. It, uh, it has a broad use spectrum. You can actually simply trace. You know, we call it simple trace for a reason. You take your te template, you lay it down, you run the stylus corner to corner, you pick your holes where you want to go, and then you hit play. You don't need to have, have any computer skills. You don't need, you know, any kind of CAD learning curve. You don't need any expensive CAD software to make this work. But you can still use it with those things. Um, we've got, we've got post processors for Fusion 360 and SolidWorks and we're working on a couple others. So you can actually take your CAD skills and your, your expensive software and create a cut file and just plug it straight into the ArcDroid and it'll cut them just as fast. So three reasons, it's smaller, it's cost effective, and it's easy to use.